Let's follow the path of Dusty's Trail, oh, Dusty's Trail, Dusty's Trail. A stage and a wagon are heading west, part of a wagon train lost from the rest. Dusty's the reason for their plight, thanks to Dusty, nothing's right. Only the wagon master's hand keeps them a rolling to the promised land. All oh, the going gets mighty rough, but they don't seem to mind. It's California, A, eh? that's the place they must find. Deserts and rocks are in their way, but they won't stop, come what may. Mountains and hills that they must scale, but they know they'll make it cause they just can't fail on Dusty's Trail. Hey, Mr. Callahan. Huh? Mr. Callahan. Uh, hey, Dusty. Ooh. Yeah. Uh. Howdy, stranger. Uh, uh, howdy. Uh, I'm sorry to disturb you folks, but, uh, well, it's an emergency. Uh, the name is Hank Gibson. Hi, Hank. Uh, what seems to be trouble? Well, uh, a buddy of mine is awful sick, and there ain't no doctor in town. Well, we don't have any doctor out here. Well, I know something about first aid. And I've had some experience in nursing. I get sick a lot. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I'd be much obliged if you'd come with me. I'll get my medical book. I'll fetch the first aid kit. Now, listen, you, uh, you look after her, huh? She'll be all right. All right. Oh, uh, nothing to worry about, sir. I'll uh, have him back before sun up. Yeah, you do that. <laughs> I found somebody, Rocky. Sorry you're not feeling well. Yeah, let's have a look. Where does it hurt? Right here. It's a bullet wound. Yeah. A little present from a marshal. And guess who's gonna take it out? said you were sick, not shot. Yeah. Besides Robin Banks, he lies a lot. Now, you better get started getting the sled out of me before I put some into you. Sign of Andy or Betsy yet. Can you see anything up there, Dusty? I can't see anything. It must be nighttime over there. Why don't you take the cover off that telescope? <laughs> oh, yeah, you can see a lot better now. <laughs> what do you see? A naked buffalo. A naked bu... Oh, it's just an ant on the lens. <laughs> well, obviously, you're not doing any good up there. Come on down. I'm getting worried. Now, one must never worry before breakfast. Or before lunch, or before dinner. In that case, one must never worry at all. Here we are worried about Andy and Betsy, and you've got to be fooling around. Well, I sure hope nothing's happened to him. Yeah. Oh, please, don't even suggest such a thing. There, there, there are many reasons why he might be delayed. Yeah, maybe the town's farther away than we thought, and maybe he's sicker than we thought, and maybe they get eaten by wild animals. Why don't you climb up? Well, I'll go in town and see if I can find him. I'm going to town and see if I can find him. <laughs> All right, Dusty. Now, I'm going to leave you in charge while I'm gone. Okay, gang. 
Come on, let's get in the wagons. We're gonna run a little late there. All right, saddle them up, move them out. Head wagons. Would you wait till we get back? We might like to join you. Here, here. Erase what I said. <laughs> Rain. Thank you. Hey, come on, Blarney. Hey. <laughs> Like I told you hours ago, the bullet's too deeply embedded for me to get out. There's really nothing we can do. What I expect from a lunkhead like you? I caught me a real bullet. You should have caught me a real doctor. I had to take what I could get. The next time our wagon train passes through, I promise you, I'll get you a real doctor. You ain't leaving for nowhere. Hey, Andy, Betsy, it's me, Callahan. Tell him to come in. Polite like. In here, Mr. Callahan. Oh, well, Betsy, Andy. I'm well, we're kind of worried about you. Right now, I'm kind of worried about you. Oh, so why? Here's one reason. <laughs> and here's another. Well, I'd say that's uh, <clears throat> two pretty good reasons. <laughs> He's not sick. He has a bullet wound. Yeah, I can see that, Betsy. From a marshal. Oh? Well, all right. Take him in the next room and tie him up. First Andy, then Betsy, and now Mr. Callahan is gone. You're in charge, so you better come up with a plan. You're right. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Plan one. We'll get him back. <laughs> but how? That's plan two. What is plan two? I don't know. I just made a plan one. <laughs> Look, it's obvious that one of us is going to have to go into town and see what's happened. That's plan three. I just wish you hadn't brought it up. <laughs> okay, freckles. Let's go. Don't you think you'd make better time if you untied him? Oh. <laughs> Dusty. <laughs> Mr. Callahan, Barney's outside. You gotta be around here someplace. Hey, Dusty, get out of here, will you? <laughs> oh, hi. You must be the fellow with the sick friend, huh? You must be the sick friend. Why are you pointing that gun at Betsy and Andy? Why are you pointing that gun at me? Why do I ask so many dumb questions? <laughs> now, that ought to hold you. Nice to see you again, Mr. Callahan. Yeah, good to see you again, Dusty. Listen, we've got to have Andy and Betsy. Listen, let's see if we can make it over to Dorian. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. It... <laughs> Let's try, let's try to win it. And, uh, <laughs> give, give just a little dusty. There we are. Hey, whatever you do, don't stay. Let's <laughs> No, but I could think of a lot of other things I'd like to say. Hurry, get in. The others are in a jam, and we're going to help get them out of it. Okay, get out! Can't you just stand here tied up like a bunch of carrots? How dare they? they? They've tied us up with rope manufactured by one of my very own companies. <laughs> Gotta have a plan. I'm really good at plan one, but after that. <laughs> hey, I got an idea. Lulu. Yeah, Cal? Do you still have that little pistol where I figure you got it? You figured right. Uh, where, pray tell, is that? Under my garter. Can you get at it? 
Oh, my hands are tied too tight. I can't lift my skirt. Uh, can anybody reach her skirt? Uh, I, I think I can reach her skirt. Of course. Oh. <laughs> Damn, it's a matter of life and death. Very well. Permission granted. <laughs> I've reached it. <laughs> Can you get it to gun, Lulu? Uh, I can't. I, I, I think I can. Uh, if you'll forgive me, dear, if I put my hand upon her leg. Really, Carlton? <sighs> Very well, if you must. I only wish you were wearing gloves. <laughs> I've got it. <laughs> I've got it. Uh, good. Good. Get it to me. I've got it. Uh, uh, my finger's stuck in the hammer. <laughs> Wait, you try any more of this funny stuff, and I'll take care of all of you right now. Sorry, I got fat fingers. <laughs> there must be some way we can cut these ropes loose. Well, how, how about using the, the, the rough top of that table over there? Hey, that might work. All right. Let's, let's hop over there and we all have to go together, all right? Here we go. Hop, hop, hop. No. that table is smooth. It wouldn't cut butter. Yeah. What about that bed, bed post over there? The end's got a sharp uh. edge on it. All right, let's give that a try. Here we go now. <laughs> He's in bad shape. What do we do? You're gonna dig the bullet out. I told you it's in too deep. You're gonna take it out now. If Rocky goes... You all go. Uh. <laughs> all right, all right. I thought you might need some help, Doc. Mr. Callahan, I tried to explain. The bullet's in too deep for me to remove. He says if we don't save Rocky's life, we all die. All right, I know more about gunshot wounds than the rest of you. I guess I'll see what I can do. Dusty, hold his leg down, will you? Oh! <laughs> well, it's too bad we haven't got something for the pain. Yeah. Hey, there's some painkiller right there. Right there, Dusty. <laughs> You're right, that's painkiller. I don't even feel any pain here, no more. Yeah. You know what's here. Both legs! How do you feel? Not bad, not bad at all. The wagon master here did a good job. If you feel okay now, I'll look after my other patient. <laughs> hey, little pal! Hey, come here! Thanks, I needed that. You passed out during the operation. <gasps> hey, come here! <laughs> well, I guess you're gonna be all right. That thing hurts just pour a little of painkiller on it. And now I guess uh, we'll be moseying along. <laughs> promised us we could leave. Oh, you will. You'll hit the trail all right, but you're going to have a couple extra passengers. Me and him. And that way we can sneak out of the territory and cross the border. Right. Check and see if the sheriff's nosing around. I'll meet you downstairs with our uh, new traveling companions. All right, come on, move it. Get out. Just stay calm. We'll figure some way to take care of these guys. Such humiliation. Brookhaven's held prisoner by common bandits. 
Yeah, it'd be different if they were famous outlaws like Robin Hood and Friar Tuck. <laughs> or even Attila the Hun. <laughs> Now, there's a sheriff and a deputy about a mile out of town. They're headed this way. I've never seen either one of them before. Yeah, well, maybe they're looking for us. Then again, maybe they ain't. But they are. You know, this saloon could be a perfect setup to fool them. Fool them? How? I'll show you. You, grab a broom. Me? Use a broom? Every broom I've ever seen has had a maid attached to the other end of it. Sweep. <laughs> you, start dusting. Dusting. Oh, I don't think the dust will mind. You two dames, go upstairs and get the booze and food out of my room and bring it down here. You two, clean up the bar. And you, get the chairs off the table. recently been changed back to the Silver Nugget. Uh, where do you folks come from? Well, we were on our way to California, but we decided to settle here. Man, let's get going. Man. Hey, good to see you, Sheriff. Drop in again any time. Mm -hmm. ah, wait a minute. Why don't you have a, have a drink on the house? Huh? Right. Well, I don't mind if we do. Yeah. There you go. And here's to your good health and to a real long life. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll drink to that. <laughs> Well, thanks for the drink. Go right, uh, well, listen, uh, we got a nice, friendly poker game going. Why don't you sit in and you know, take a hand? Andy, I think ah. you got your couple of players here. Oh, good. Sheriff, join us. Uh, might be a winner. I think I'll have time for one round. Ouch. Oh, I'm sorry. Hurt your shoulder? Yeah, my uh, horse bit me. <laughs> that was to us all. Same mistakes, gentlemen. Money, cattle, oil wells, factories, <laughs> loot from bank robberies. <laughs> oh, I said, I said, I mean, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Sheriff. They fell on your side, I think. Ah, uh, no harm done. We'll get them. <laughs> All right, table stakes. Open with anything. Uh, open with a quarter. I'll raise your 10,000. Ten thousand. Oh, I'm out. Me too. I pass. Okay, keep the quarter. That's how I got the ten thousand, all in quarters. Patience is a rewarding virtue, gentlemen. There, there, half fingers. <laughs> Same one of your songs. One of those great special songs. Here, yeah, Dusty. You know, something special. <laughs> Oh dear, where can the sheriff be solving a big bank row, 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 row? Oh dear, where can the sheriff be now that we've cornered our man? That shit sings with a sense of humor. Mm hmm. Hey, sheriff, I thought we were going to play a little poker. Later. How about another chorus? Oh, yeah, sure, sheriff, but this time you got to listen real carefully, okay? <laughs> Oh dear, I hope the sheriff knows crooks are under his very nose And don't pay any attention to me, cause I'm out of my head it Doesn't look like anything's working The sheriff just won't take a hint Yeah, but I'll bet you they can read Come on We'd better get going Yeah, if we're gonna pick up that trail by nightfall <laughs> Well, uh, sheriff, just a minute here It's uh, just about time for our floor show wouldn't you like to stay and see that? Oh, a couple of minutes won't make much difference. 
<laughs> hey, finger! There! Showtime! <laughs> fun, but we've got to get going. Gentlemen. Ladies. Pretty stupid of Rocky and Hank to think we didn't know them. I guess they didn't know their unwanted posters. Well, we couldn't risk a shootout with all those innocent folks in there. All right, everybody, outside. We're all gonna hit that big trail together. One moment, sir. I happen to own this wagon train, and I shall decide whom I want as a passenger. Welcome aboard. <laughs> that goes for you, two fingers. Come on, move it! No, I hope you get yours. And I hope the sheriff knows who you are, and I hope he's outside waiting with a deputy. Hey, do you know that dummy could be right? Huh? Uh, he ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Thinking, Mr. Callahan, Callahan. Glad to know you. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, that was really neat the way you banged our two heads together. In just a few minutes, I'm gonna bang both your heads together, little pal. <laughs> well, what's everybody standing around for? Why aren't we ready to leave? The girls are not gonna stop until they get it right. <laughs> <laughs> 